Well, wines help us celebrate the holidays, but they also have their own special days like National Wine Day, or how about this one, Chardonnay Day, count me in. Joining me is someone who knows a thing or two about wine. We have advanced sommelier, Wanda Cole Nicholson. She's here with us today, and we're celebrating, right? Absolutely, we're always celebrating. I know, it's always something to always. celebrate. And we have a couple of wine, or actually three wine holidays coming up. What's yeah. the first one that's happening? So, oh, thank you. So the first wine holiday is the anniversary of the Judgment of Paris. And the Judgment of Paris was a blind tasting conducted by some British wine merchants. And before this tasting, France was known to be like the top dog as far as like wine production. They were seen to be the best of the best. So these merchants essentially conducted a blind tasting with French wines and American wines side by side and they did it blind. And when they revealed the wines, it came to be that the American wines were actually the ones that were favored by these British wine merchants. And that is what to help put the United States on the world stage as far as wine production. Wow, I learned something new today. So next time I go to trivia, that needs to be in the rotation. I love that. <laughs> judgment. The judgment of Paris. I hope you learned something new as well. We have the Judgment of Paris. And then what about that second wine holiday? So the second wine holiday is National Wine Day. And National Wine Day was essentially the holiday that spun off all the other wine holidays. It started in 2009, which is kind of when social media started to really rise and then the hashtags came about and all that. So um, National Wine Day is essentially like pouring yourself your favorite glass of wine, celebrating it, maybe taking a wine class, learning something about it, uh, cooking your favorite meal and enjoying all things wine. Oh, I love that. And speaking of learning something about wine, let's talk a little bit about labels. How does one read a label and does the United States make them a little bit easier than other countries? I'm glad that you asked that. So the answer is absolutely yes. So when it comes to wine label language, there's a couple of important things that you should really like pay attention to. So the four main things is the producer, the vintage, the type of wine, and then the region of the wine. So the producer is who actually makes the wine. The vintage is the year that the grapes were grown. The grape varietal is the type of grape that is used to make the wine, and then the region is where it comes from. So in Europe, they sell a lot of their wine based on the region, like you know about Burgundy, Bordeaux, Champagne, that is what really sells the wine. So that's what they make their wine label language as. For example, I've got the Chardonnay here, which is the Marie-Pierre Manciat. This is a Chardonnay from the Macon in Burgundy. Marie-Pierre Manciat. Manciat. Yes, okay. yes. So that is basically the wine producer, and the Macon is the region, and then La Morzio, that is actually like the crew, which is like the smaller parcel of the land that the wine comes from. You're teaching me so much today. <laughs> so notice it doesn't say Chardonnay on there it anywhere, does not. right? It doesn't. So the European wines, the old world wines as we know them as, they kind of expect you to know that if you're getting a white wine from Burgundy, that you know that you're getting a Chardonnay. They don't spell it out for they you They don't spell all. it out for you. And speaking of Chardonnay, we are running out of time, but Chardonnay Day is coming up. When is Chardonnay Day, Wanda? Chardonnay Day is May 26th. La la. Well, go ahead and mark your calendars. The three big wine days coming up. And of course, we'll post all of this on our website, studiostl.tv. And the wine and the spirits that wine that brings in come from Grapevine Wine and Spirits. They're located in Kirkwood on Kirkwood Road. You can show Wanda some love on social. All of her handles are right there on your screen. And you can also visit Grapevine Wine and Spirits, again located on Kirkwood Road with lots of wine education and events. Thanks for winding down with us.